What's going on everybody? David here from Blooker's Videos and Collectibles and today I got another figure review for y'all and this time it is on the Jurassic World War of Wars Series 2 and Kylosaurus. Now y'all pretty much know the drill already when I do these. We're going to take the figure out of the package, we're going to review the packaging, we're going to review the toy, we're going to do size comparisons with the fig, and we're going to do a collection update. But, but first, uh, just want to do a little comparison, you know, I always like to do these when I have them available. And we are going to bring out the Hasbro's version of their Ankylosaurus for their Jurassic World toy line back in the day. So, <clears throat> as you can tell, Mattel's done a lot better and improved since uh, Hasbro had the line. Um, Mattel's done an amazing job as far as quality goes and uh, packaging goes and things like that. Uh, but Hasbro, to be honest, this is probably, this right here is probably one of the better figures that they had in their toy line. It's not saying much compared, compared to all the others that they've released. They had their hits and misses, but very few hits, but a lot of misses. Mattel, on the other hand, yes, they had their own issues when it comes to quality and stuff, but overall, their product is far superior than what Hasbro gave us. So, just wanted to show you all this so you can get an idea of how it was back then compared to it is now. Um, I know a lot of people prefer Kenner products uh, overall, which is fine. And, you know, they, Kenner was ahead of its time when they did the, their Jurassic uh, Park toy line and stuff. So, of course, you know, they're going to be far superior than both of these lines. But we're not here to talk about Kenner. We're not here to talk about Hasbro. We are here to talk about this Ankylosaurus. So, anyways, let's go ahead and take a few minutes to crack this sucker open and take a look at it. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so we finally got the dinosaur out of its packaging. And I uh, didn't really have to do much. That's why I didn't have it pre-cut before the videos because all it was was just a couple of strings and that was it. Don't have to do anything with the tail. But anyway, so here's the packaging. We've got the Jurassic World logo on the top left-hand corner. We've got Blue and Owen at the bottom left-hand corner. Ages 3 and up, that's me. And here in the middle, we got Roarvors, Ankylosaurs. And then up here on the top right-hand corner, we have New. And then we got the Roar of Wars logo. Let you know that's electronic. Again, we have the hand pointing down, or the finger pointing down, so you can press the button so you can see, test it out if you like it or not before you buy it. And then we have the little action feature right here with the tail swing in action. And you must know that I do love this packaging. Love the cage style packaging. Fits great from what the movie is about. And then in the background, we have Mount Saibo erupting. We've got all that lava flowing down the mountain and the volcanic ash all up in the air. Going down at the forest down below. And I love how the fact that they are able to have the packaging go all the way around in the back and on the inside and on the ground at the bottom. So very, very good on their part. And on the top of the packaging, we've got Jurassic World logo right there. And then at the uh, side of the packaging, we've got Jurassic World. We've got the side of the cage with the uh, some volcanic gas in the air. And then the forest down there. And then on the side of this packaging, we have Jurassic World logo right there at the bottom. <clears throat> and here we have the all the fun stuff, all the copyright dates, information. Uh, contains one dinosaur, got Universal logo right there, got Mattel right there, and then um, there's not, there's a, plenty of these out there, so if you, for some reason you can't find it, here's the UPC number right there, so that way you can check it out and see if you got some in your local area, and, and um, these are pretty much peg warmers in my opinion, <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, there's plenty of them out there for now. And then at the back of the packaging, we have the uh, prototype of the Ankylosaurus in the middle. We've got Jurassic World logo at the top left-hand corner, Ankylosaurus. And then we have the Jurassic Facts app information right there. And then over here, we have the uh, Roar of Roar symbol. Let you know that it's electronic. And then we've got a finger point down, so where you can press the button to activate the uh, sounds. And then... It says, 
push button for sound and tail striking action. And then it has gives you some batteries and information that's included. And also over here, it gives you more battery information. <clears throat> then down here at the bottom, is, this is the uh, uh, Wave 2. We've got the Ceratosaurus. And then we have uh, the Pteranodon. And I think when they did package uh, these Wave 2, they included the Triceratops. Not that we don't have enough of them already. And then here we are with the warning, uh, warning logo, sound, symbol, small parts. <laughs> and then we have uh, contains one dinosaur. So let's go ahead and put this aside and bring out the Antilo. But before we review the dinosaur, we got to go over some instructions. You know, got to do that. So right here we got instructions at the top, and we got Jurassic World logo at the top left hand corner and then it says contains and here's your one dinosaur and then here is some more Jurassic World facts app information right there and then at the bottom there is nothing at the bottom and then it says number one to play push button for sound and tail, tail striking action so gives you a little demonstration on how to do that then over here it says number two, battery safety information. So it basically just gives you the information on how to remove the batteries and replace it and so forth. So, and then on the back, it doesn't really have much of anything. So it has all the trademark information, copyright dates, universal logo, and then the Mattel logo. Then the next thing that's up when it comes to instructions here we have the batter, battery uh, information. So it just gives you like the safety information and stuff like that and what to do and how to dispose of the battery and stuff like that. So but anyways, enough of that. Let's go ahead and get on with the dinosaur. So, here is the Ankylosaurus at hand. This thing is very awesome. Love the details of this thing. You know, it's not that heavy. I thought it was going to be a big weighty figure, but it really isn't. But, love the color scheme. It's got kind of like this uh, dark brownish color at the bottom underneath the shell. And on top of the shell, it's got this greenish gray pattern. You get the grayish pattern that goes all the way down there. And it should have just continued onto the tail. Why they didn't do that, I don't know. And then here is the, uh, the uh, greenish color right here, all the way down here. They should have colored the, uh, the bony uh, tail right there, in my opinion. Um, then they had the greenish part right here on the head. And then... Sculpt face sculpt looks great. They should have been able to paint the beak as well. Uh, love the fact that they got the eyes in the correct spot. That's one of the main things that people not tell is because their eyes aren't always painted in the right spot. And so there we go right there. Uh, felt like they should have just painted yeah, the horns, you know, all the spikes and um, the tail this color, you know, so it can match. But hey, what do I know? So. And the good thing about this thing is, um, is that the spikes on the top and at the sides has that rubber feel. So that way when kids uh, play with it and they grab it and stuff, they don't poke themselves. So good thing part on, uh, good part on the tail. Good thing part. <laughs> and then below it, we have the, uh, the speaker along with the battery compartment. And then we have the Jurassic Park or Jurassic World logo. And then here's the facts set for anyone who doesn't have it already. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's very nice texturing. Uh, got the little wrinkles on the side right here. And, yeah, I know it's kind of dark, kind of like a, like a brownie colored brown, you know. And then you got the texture and the muscles. Um, they should have painted the toe claws, you know my opinion so very nice figure very nice and the head is on a ball so you can turn it around 360 so, so you can 
rotate it, you make it look at it from side to side, up and down. So, very nice. Uh, as far as the legs go, they won't be able to go 360 because of the, the plate and the spikes. So, but you can go forward and back, you know, doesn't go side to side. They do have that, uh, uh, the, um, the hip joint right here. So, very nice right there. And, uh, let's go ahead and do the, uh, action feature. So, apparently you're supposed to press this. And this is supposed to be swing side to side and make sound. So I guess sometimes the button does get stuck. And um, this thing, a lot of other people have issues with that when they press down too hard or too far down, you know. Yeah, I've seen several reviews with the for the buttons get stuck. So that's I guess that's normal for the time being. Um, I don't have any other Ankylosaurus figures to compare this to. Um, hopefully, I can. I do want to pick up the Dino Riders one and definitely Dinosaurs one and a few others, you know. But um, like I said, I don't have anything to compare them to as far as other toy lines go. But here we have the Allosaurus right here. Goes pretty good scale with that. And um, if you haven't checked out the Allosaurus review, it's, it's the previous video I did. And then we are going to bring out the Xenoceratops. Now I think Ankylosaurus is a little bit big, you know, when it comes to play compatibility. I think they're a little bit smaller. And then, uh, here we have Owen. So, still haven't found my tape measure, so I couldn't measure them for you guys. But, there we go. I think that works out pretty well. And let's go ahead and do a collection update. So, here is Series 1, or Wave 1 from the Roar of Wars line. Uh, just did the review for the Allosaurus, so check out the video in um, my content and uh, watch that video. And then we have the Baryonyx, Triceratops, and the Metricanthosaurus. And here is from Wave 2, the Pteranodon and the Ceratosaurus. And here is the Lone Wave 3, Xenoceratops slash Pachyronosaurus. Just want to thank everybody for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. Um, comment down below what you think of this figure. If you have this figure in your collection or if you have any other uh, kind of figures in this. Uh, or should I say, if you have any other Ankylosaurus figures. Like from the Dino Riders, definitely the Dinosaurs, or even from the Hasbro line. Uh, let me know down in the comments below. And um, if you're new to this channel, please give this channel a sub. Uh, like the video or dislike the video. Uh, also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can receive all the information uh, or all my uploads as I upload them. And um, words of wisdom, buy what you love and not what you like because if you buy what you like, you will always end up getting rid of it. And I will catch y'all later.